Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm coming at you with a hair video. So I have been trying to just try different things on my hair and I was like, you know what? I haven't ever blow dried my natural hair and I've been natural for about, no, it's gotta be three years. Yeah, no, I've been natural for like three years now. So I thought, you know what? I'll just buy this blow dry that I saw on Amazon. I was really highly, really, really, who was that? What is that? Really highly reviewed and tried out for not only myself but for you guys. So I have this hair dryer here. It's called the Andis 1875W Ceramic Iron Styler Dryer. And it's not like a regular hair dryer, as you can see, it's like a comb. So there's three different attachments. There's this comb looking one, there's a brush looking one, and a squiggly comb looking one. So I'm gonna try out, I think, the thinner comb one today just because when I'm blow drying it out, it'll make it straighter. But who knows? Maybe I'll switch it up. But I thought, why not try it out and see how it comes out and how it actually works on. I think I have a little mixture of 4A and 4B. My um, crown right here is tighter, so I think it's more 4B. But then down here, my curls are looser, so they're more like 4A. So I kind of have combination hair like most people where you just don't have the same texture all over the place, which is completely normal. So I want to try it out and see if it works on us natural hair gals. Uh, and you know, for you to see too. So if you didn't want to get this hair dryer, you can get it. So. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So right now, my hair, it was, um, what I did to it beforehand is in order to like kind of detoxify it, like my roof and get out any product buildup that I had from like the, like the week prior, um, I did the clay mask, which I also did another YouTube video. So if you want to try it and look at, see how it works on my hair, you can go watch it right there. But I did that and then I shampooed, ooh, what was that? I shampooed my hair um conditioned it and also put in a mask and this was the end result i have no products in right now so this is how my hair looks um after i try it with a towel a little bit i tried it for like 30 minutes i was talking so it might have been a little bit over 30 minutes but this is how my hair looks after i towel dry it um no product or anything this is just how it looks so that's what i did it's not wet um, and it's not dry either. It's kind of like in that middle in between stages. So I'm going to leave it like that. But if I do see it needs to be um, wet, I'll wet it. But I think right now it's not good like in between stage. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the dryer see how it works. First off, I'm going to section off my hair. So what I'll do is let me get another hair tie because I think I want to cut it in half. And then get a piece from each side and then blow dry it because I think that might be the easiest way to do it. So I'll turn to the side so you can see how much I'm grabbing. So I'm grabbing this much hair, putting the rest in the ponytail, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. How do you attach this? Oh, just snaps on. There's low, medium, and high, so oh. Also, I'm gonna fast forward this part for you guys because I'm sure you guys don't wanna sit through like an hour of me doing this, so. All right, so if you wanna try a different attachment, let's try this one instead. That didn't work either so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a spray bottle cuz I'm sure my hair might be a little too dry which is making it like this head doesn't look that bad honestly but this side with that brush is really not doing much so I think I might do is I might get the spray bottle so that I can go ahead and do that but shrinkage is so real man all right and I'm back so pro tip if you don't have a spray bottle like me right now I can't find a spray bottle Use an old like Bath and Body Works or any perfume that has like a spray bottle. If you have one that's like empty, you can just put water in it and it sprays like usual. So, if you're making sure it doesn't like 
I like wash it thoroughly just making sure it doesn't have any perfume smell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet it again and then try seeing if wetting it helps it out. All right, so I'm gonna put the small attachment on again and then see how that works because I feel like that might actually work. I'm gonna go with low speed by the way. I wet it and you see how much better it is. So I ended up actually switching it to high because low was just taking away too long and not really drying my hair. I mean, it was, but not that. I don't have all day to do this. So as you can see, putting it on high and wetting it is definitely the move. So I'm gonna go over this one again and then do the rest of my hair. And I'm gonna speed it up for you guys because it's gonna take a long time. I just found out something. So if you turn to the back, you can either put it on 125 volt or 250. Right now I have it at 125 and it's working fine, but if you guys do use this and you see you want more power, you have that option. So what I just did on this section of hair that I'm going to do to the rest of my hair because it made it so much easier and smoother was I sprayed down my hair because spraying it down made it, you know, easier to do. Uh, and then after spraying it down, I had a little comb. It looks like, it looks like this. Um, so I have this little comb. So after spraying it down, I would like comb it down and that made it so much of an easier process. So what I've learned so far is that Spray it, comb it, dry it is the way to go. Just gonna braid it so I can get out of my way. Also, I'm getting really hot. All right, I look crazy, but I'm just gonna cut the video now because this is gonna take a while and I don't feel like, well, not that I feel like recording. I just might not have enough space to record me blow drying my hair. So I will see you guys back when I'm done. Deuces. And I'm done. So I finished blow drying my whole hair and this is how it came out. Very big, but of course I do have big hair. So my thoughts on it, it's a cool hair dryer for you to do your hair at home if you wanna blow dry your hair because I feel like with regular hair dryers, it's really hard to, you know, blow dry. I have like the dryer on one hand and the brush on the other. So I think for at home, it's like a good type of hair dryer to use. My only thing is that it could be because my um, ends might need to be cut soon, but it's really hard to um, get the end as straight as the top. So you can see like up here, like it was smoothing it out and then as soon as it got to the bottom, like what happened? Like, I'm not sure if it's because I need to cut my hair. That might be the case, but also, honestly, I don't think that's the case because I cut my hair like three months ago. So I like it. I think um, for the ends, I have to figure out something because for the ends, it doesn't really do anything. But honestly, like, it blew dry my hair, made it pretty smooth. Um, I used a small attachment, and then as soon as I finished blow drying my whole head, I put the larger um, comb attachment and went throughout my whole hair again. So I like it to be honest. Um, 
what I'm gonna do is probably just braid my hair back just because um, it's 12.50 in the morning. I turned this at like 10.30, so it's like two hours to do, but honestly, the hair dryer's good. If you're gonna use it on your natural hair, what I was doing was make sure your hair is wet, don't let it dry. I tried trying, I tried trying it. I tried doing it dry in the beginning and then it just wasn't working that well. And then once I wet it and combed it out, Make sure you comb it out before you blow dry it. Just because it makes it smoother and easier to blow dry, you're good to go. So what I make, what I recommend it, I can't even talk. What I recommend it, yeah, I mean, you're probably going to need a blow dryer in your life and you might as well get something that makes it helpful for you. For the ends, you might just want to, you can take off the attachment. So I have a, like a wooden brush. So maybe I'm going to go like later on after this video go ahead and blow dry it with um like a brush at the end just to make it better but this is how it came out not bad i mean it's big my hair's big but that's how it is even without it being hair hair dried hair dried dried good i cannot talk but i hope you enjoyed the video if you did let me know and i will see you in the next one deuces